This video is going to catch your eye today. It did ours, a sea creature you don't see every day. No, you really don't. And uh, your reporter, Tracy Hurt, found this one swimming near Hutchinson Island. Dozens, dozens, dozens of them. Go ahead, Michael. What is that? I don't Ash? know. It's, it's something new. Spotted we on the Treasure Coast. <laughs> we sent News Channel 5's Katie Johnson to find out what these creatures actually are. All the talk among beachgoers today here in Stewart. We were even stopped by people at the grocery store today talking about it. A slimy swimming sea creature spotted very close to the shore. It looks like a small stingray as you watch it swim, but it's actually called an Atlantic black sea hare. We spoke to a biologist today with the Florida Oceanographic Society who tells us it's basically a snail without a shell. And as you saw in that video, it can swim. They're not typically found so close to shore by Biologists saying we're likely seeing them here on the Treasure Coast thanks to some westerly winds we've had up here lately. If you see one on the beach, don't worry, they're harmless. Although when threatened, they do shoot out purple ink. So why are they called sea hares? A biologist explains. And they're called sea hares because they have little projections on their head that make them look almost like a rabbit. The slimy sea hares creating quite a show here in the Treasure Coast. Folks we spoke to say they saw a lot of them out here today. We'll have more on it coming up all new at 6. In Stewart, Katie Johnson, WPTV News Channel 5.